On Sunday, November 12th, a crowd of young adults numbering between 2,000 and 2,500 gathered, rallied, and marched from Union Square to Stonewall, where they again rallied and then marched to Washington Square Park, all in Manhattan. The sounds that follow are a sampling of the speeches given at all three locations. Homemade signs expressing solidarity with queer Palestinians in their freedom struggle were abundant. The march was organized by the Queer Solidarity Action Group. Cease fire now! Cease fire now! Cease fire now! Cease fire now! No pride in apartheid! 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 Every single day, every single hour, every single second that our representatives here at the U.S. government do not call for a ceasefire, more Palestinian lives are extinguished. Outside of the world-famous Stonewall Bar, the rally resumed with a message from the Queer Palestinian Freedom Movement to their U.S.-based queer solidarity activists assembled. liberatory demand from queers in Palestine. This is a liberatory demand from queers in Palestine. I don't know if you're going to be able to repeat all this. So. <laughs> just read it. I feel like you can just read it. We write this as workers, students, farmers, parents, as Palestinians, as queer Palestinians. We write this not because our queerness exceptionalizes our positions 
But because in the same way we have been othered as queers, we are now facing patriarchal, colonial tactics that seek to further alienate us as queer Palestinians. To gather our words and energies requires an enormous effort. We are sickened that amidst these moments of spectacular brutality and carnage projected onto Palestinian bodies, including rape, torture, mutilation, and maiming, we are diverted from grieving and organizing to make a demand. Since October 7th, we have been witnessing an accelerated genocide unfolding in the Gaza Strip and in all parts of Palestine, blatantly and publicly declared on numerous occasions by the Israeli governmental and military figures. The brutality and lethal magnitude of the atrocities committed by the Israeli state and its supporters produce increasingly harrowing conditions for those who remain alive in Palestine. Every day, everywhere. This brutality has been sustained through the continued economic, military, diplomatic, and political support of world leaders historically and presently. We note, document, and narrate the hundreds of catastrophic massacres for the past 75 years at the hands of the annihilatory wrath of the Zionist regime. Shame! Shame. to the Tantura massacre of 1948, upon which Israel's foundation is based, to the Kafr Qasim massacre in 1956, to the Sabra and Shatila massacre of 1982. And this is just to name a few. There is no possibility of any liberatory political and social movement to achieve life and dignity if it is aligned with the genocidal death machine of Israel. Israel is founded on blood and is sustained through blood. During these times, and in line with its long-standing exploitation of liberal identity politics, Israel has been weaponizing queer bodies to counter any support for Palestine and any critique of its settler colonial project. Israelis politicians, organizations, and quote-unquote civilians have been mobilizing colonial dichotomies such as quote-unquote civilized and barbaric, Shame. human and animal, Shame. and other dehumanizing binaries as a discourse that legitimizes the attacks on Palestinians. Within its settler colonial rhetoric, Israel seeks to garner and mobilize support from Western governments and liberal societies by portraying itself as a nation that respects freedom, diversity, and human rights, that is fighting a monstrous and oppressive society, illuminated clearly through the declaration of the Prime Minister of Israel, quote, there is a struggle between the children of light and children of darkness, between humanity and the law of jungle. While these blatantly racist genocidal declarations take the stage, activists in Palestine intention and, and internationally are being silenced, harassed, detained, criminalized, workers fired from their jobs. Shame. Shame. And students suspended from universities. International feminists and queer activists in solidarity with Palestine are facing attacks and harassment by Zionists under the premise that those who support Palestine will be raped and beheaded by Palestinians for merely being women and queers. Shame! Not another nickel, not another dime!
the speech was briefly disrupted by a young counter demonstrator wearing a yarmulke, but he was largely ignored by the crowd. So we're almost done, but I just want to finish by reading the last part of the demands and then um, please follow queer. Shut up! Shut up! We, queer Palestinians, are an integral part of our society. And we are informing you from the heavily militarized alleys of Jerusalem to Anhuana Scorch Lands to Yafra Shabiel Street and cutting across Gaza's besieged walls. At Union Square, the organizers called for continued solidarity actions. This is my first time organizing something like this. And several of the marshals, it was their first time marshalling. Some of you out here, maybe it's your first time marching. If you are angry right now, if you are devastated right now, you should be. You should be angry. You can't be whole and be separate at the same time. Use that anger. Thank you. And organize like you never have. for some calls to action. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I just want to say, I want to echo everything that Esther said, and I want to call, I want to implore all of you to use your anger. Use your anger from today. Stay in the streets until Palestine is free. Action group. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah.